So what's up, you guys? I'm gonna probably run. I'm, I'm gonna try to run 10 mags today. Get 300 rounds out of this thing. See how it's doing. Um, sweat like a fucking dog out here. It feels good. I'd rather it be hot than cold for sure. Um, so I got all U.S. Palm magazines. 120 rounds here. I'm not gonna go right through them. I'm gonna. I just put my sig on here. So I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep this stock or not, or if I'm gonna put the Midwest handguard on here. But I brought it with me. I'm gonna test it out and see how it feels. But let me get this uh, SIG zeroed in real quick because I had my cousin, while my AK was out for warranty, I had my cousin checking it out. So he had his 10.5 PSA upper or whatever, and he had this on his PSA. So I gotta re zero this thing. See where we're at. So I wasn't even on paper, <laughs> needless to say. So I need to be, come in a little bit closer. I think I was too far away. It must have been really off. That's why laser foresights, in my opinion, suck. Because I foresighted this thing in with laser and honestly wasted fucking money. I had a sight mark laser for 762539. And as you can see, I took my time on sighting it in with a laser foresight while I was at home inside. And I come out here and I'm way off target. So now I brought it in. I'm about 25 yards away. So half of what I was. And let's see what I get now. I got these US Palm magazines, man. You know, I really love the texture of these things. There's only one downfall I don't like to them is that, uh, they're fully polymer. They don't have no steel locking lugs, and I don't like that. But they fit really good in the Palmetto State, as any mag really does. Honestly, this gun is not picky with this magazines, and they all lock up pretty nicely. So, all right, I'm going to put three more on target before I really get to shooting. So, see what I get. Like I said, I'm going to document every single shot that I take with this thing from now on. like I'm high so let me turn it down I'm gonna do three more to reconfirm I should be good looks like I'm I'm on horizontal but I just need to come down a little bit so I like about these sig red dots man these knobs come off and fuck you can go to work right here right in the field if you need to if you lose your zero Which for whatever reason I don't know why that would happen but if you needed to swap it on a gun or something like that. All right, three more. Let's see if I'm in the crosshairs now. Got her sighted in. So now I got a, I would say like a 12 by 12 cardboard out there with maybe like a little bull size targets. Four of them on there, four circles. I'm just gonna kind of try to Make one hole in every circle. If I make it in every circle, then I'm I'm done. guys I think I knocked down all my steel targets with the 762 by 39 <laughs> these targets could just not stand up to this shit it's hilarious
the hell out that one, boy. Actually, so three magazines. It's hot as fuck out here. But these US Palm magazines, for as cheap as they are, they're not too bad. They're not too bad. I got more, I, I got more favorite magazines that I like to rock in this gun. Like I've stressed a million times. The best ones that the best fitment that I've ever had with this AK is the Chinese uh, transitional magazines. And uh, I think those are about 40 bucks a pop. I got four of them. I love them things. Like they're they're pretty nice. I think I got four. Something like that. But them, them are my favorite magazines. These I do got a gang load of these. I've never taken them apart, but my my second favorite magazines are definitely the Bulgarian magazines. The polymer with the uh, steel reinforcement lugs. Them are badass. They are badass magazines for sure. Um, I don't know if you guys can see how much fire this thing's spitting out. It hasn't moved on me. It's a little hot, but I'm all sweaty. I'm just gonna ensue the shooting here. I don't know, I love pulling trigger on this motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh, hand guard's getting a little warm. So what I got here, some SGI magazines. All four SGI magazines, actually, these are really cheap magazines too. They're pretty dope but they're really loose fitting as you can tell. So I personally, like I've said before, I like the Bulgarians and my Chinese magazines. Those are my favorites for sure. But this muzzle brake does help, makes a world of difference for sure. I wish I brought my other muzzle brakes with me. I will be doing a video on that. At least do a nighttime, show which one spits the most flash for sure. I got you Connor, for sure. But. She's hot. She's really hot. Almost too hot to grab. Whew. Fuck. All right, let's grab that magazine. Let's see if these palmetto handguards will melt. I got all the old oils off her. I'm gonna let her chill out for a second, guys. All right. Hopefully, we don't lose light. All right. So I don't want to lose light. So is what I did is I just took the whole carrier bolt, all that good shit out of there. I'm just kind of letting her rest. So obviously, let's see what we got in here. See that little ramp got bigger. Can't tell. Uh, it looks about the same. That chafer in there looks about the same on that right lug so we'll see how much that moves but <sighs> otherwise she's hot man that gas that that rear sight block whew, that's bad that's stupid hot stupid stupid hot them hand guards they feel like they're gonna melt i mean i could be wrong they could take it but at the same time i don't want to pay for new hand guards so why fucking destroy them you know how that goes Otherwise, hey, you know, another thing I forgot to mention, you guys. So if you guys get the TWS and let's say worst case scenario, you have to like, you have to take off your red dot. 
you know, your red dot dies or just worst case scenario, right? You could still run just like that, straight up. And that, trust me, you could easily still hit your targets all day. I was hitting shit easily just like that. As a matter of fact, I'll show you guys. I'll slap some steel with it from about 50 yards away. I would fully recommend if you're going to be shooting without the dust cover to wear some sort of eye protection. I mean, especially if you're shooting steel, always wear eye protection. But, like, if you're going to have the dust cover off, you're going to get shit in your face for sure. So you're probably going to inhale much more gas, too, as well, right along with it. So dust cover's off. So anyway, actually, I still hit steel with this. Kind of hard to see with these eye clothes on. Very blurry. Must be from me sweating. still use these as your uh, your sight block if you needed to if needs be it's because i'm so sweaty or like what that's one thing to mention especially with metal magazines and if you're sweaty and you don't have gloves on they slide and like it's it's so easy to fumble the magazine to put it in there not all the way and you'd be like this and it gets stuck and you gotta knock it forward and it's just you gotta make sure you hit that lip it's perfectly fine get that bitch in there i mean even i make mistakes i'm not even that good you know all right Last magazine, guys. So that means 300 rounds to my Palmetto. Yeah, I think uh, the next 300, I'm going to start doing a little bit more uh, evasive shooting instead of standing in just one spot. But 300 rounds kind of break it in. I wouldn't even say it like break in point for an AK. It's probably at least like a couple thousand rounds. You know what it's really going to do. But 300 rounds to get you started definitely is like nice to see what your parts are going to look like. And you could see what kind of wear patterns you're about to get. You'll know if you're getting like some sort of abnormal wear, if something's sharp at 300 yards, I mean 300 yards, at 300 rounds, like on your bolt or like even in a trunnion, if you get sharp pieces, sharp edges, that's no good. If something ain't right, it's just going to keep getting worse and worse and something's going to shear or chip like me. So let's hope and pray they got these new parts down right.